Hey guys, welcome to Frank's Tech Help from beautiful Waikiki Beach in Honolulu, Hawaii. Um, we're going to be reviewing the Canon HG10 in combination with Final Cut Express. I'm going to show you guys how to set up Final Cut Express um, to work along with your um, Canon HG10. I just got mine in today. Isn't she pretty? Yeah. So uh, hopefully you guys have one or something better. This is kind of a middle middle of the road camera as far as you know your levels so uh, it's a nice decent camera okay so uh, let's get straight to it here um, let me just bring the camera up with me so you got your camera you got your USB cable okay so what you want to do is you're going to set up Final Cut Express first and in order to log and transfer your videos that a lot of people have had a problem with this I've been banging my head against the wall for the past couple of hours until I finally figured it out on my own so um, hopefully this will save you some time Final Cut Express tab easy setup Apple Intermediate Codec all rates Apple Intermediate Codec I chose 1080i50 okay once you select that and set it you're going to go to log and transfer. Inside log and transfer, you're going to go to this little settings tab right here. You're going to choose the preferences. And in the beginning, I didn't know I could even click here until I noticed the little arrows over here. You're going to select Apple Intermediate Codec. Okay. So those are your two key elements to being able to import. Now, <clears throat> You guys probably already know what this looks like. Your files will pop up here. It will simply drag them down here. And the problem that I was getting is that when it finished, it was giving me an error message saying, with a little red uh, exclamation point in black or whatever, but um, saying that it could not, it was not a recognized format or whatever. So just remember, easy setup, Apple Intermediate Codec, Apple Intermediate 1080i, whatever. So and then under log and transfer preferences Apple Intermediate Codec that should take care of all your problems now my big question was once I imported a file now normally I, I transfer my files on my old Avario um, I would transfer my files into um, Video Vangelis and, and transcode them into a format that Final Cut Express could recognize which is usually DV um, <clears throat> and then import them into Final Cut Express and the part that I liked about this is that I can have my own file structure I can put them on the desktop for temporary storage I can move them around because I know where they are I created them they're good to go you know um, now the bad part about that is if you'll notice here in uh, my Final Cut this is one of my older projects that I did earlier today with my Averio, which does not do the encoding. You notice that there's no audio. And in order to even do this, I had to I had to dump the the video footage off of my camera through Video Vangelis back into a folder and save it in whatever project I wanted. Okay? So yeah, it was kind of a pain in the butt. All right, so now by doing the log and import, you guys, if you guys understand how that function works, then you already know all about it. If you don't, then that's what you're going to use to get your footage actually into the software. So, okay, once your footage is in, you can drag it down to your, your clip there and make, you know, do start editing right away. So I know a lot of people have been confused about this, had a lot of problems with it, whatever. So there's the solution for that. Now. Let's uh, let's move ahead here. My next question was, where's my footage being saved? Okay, you know I like to create my own folder, put it in my own project folder, and dump all my raw footage there, and do my editing, and save it all under a name. So I started getting a little bit curious about that. So let's go item properties, and um, oh wait, I'm sorry, that's not it. Let's say. Let's try. No, nope, because I've already saved it off. Okay, so that's that's trying to go into documents, obviously. Um, 
but the thing is, I want to know where this video clip actually exists on my hard drive. Here we go. Open, uh, reveal in Finder. You can do the same thing up here. Um, I just forgot. Reveal in Finder. And it brings up your um, little Finder window there. And you can see the path. It's in Final Cut Express Documents, Capture Scratch, Untitled Project 1. I don't really want it to be there, um, but there's another project apparently I created that's an old project. I changed it almost immediately. So you might look for residual files in here because it could be cluttering up your system. But my suggestion, and for me, what I would do is drag this folder either onto my desktop and put it in my project folder, rename it, and then continue editing with it. So um, I don't know if there's a set. I haven't seen a setting yet to designate a, a scratch folder, you know, because that's I think that's what I prefer to do. Um, as opposed to going back to the old way. Okay, so in our new video footage that is in Final Cut Express, you'll notice that I have audio, and this is my actual first high def video footage here. So here's my first ever test recording on my new Canon HG10. Yay! So I'm testing out the zoom here. There's Diamond Head here in Waikiki Beach in Hawaii. Now I'm going to stick my Billy Badass lens on one of them. All right, so anyway, you get the idea. Um, so that takes care of that. Um, hopefully you guys will be able to um, plug in your camera, get the software going, um, and get your settings right so that you can import it. So problem solved, hopefully. I know it did for me. So.